Okay, so we've got a um, linear and a quadratic equation, and so the way of doing these is slightly different. And if you notice that each equation has this y in, now y is going to be equal in both equations. So what we do is we just get the equations here equal to each other. So we've got 2x plus 11 equals x squared minus 5x plus 4. Now we can get them equal to each other because y, if we're solving, y is exactly the same thing. So we're just getting them equal to each other because they both equal y. And then we will need to uh, get that, little, move that around so that we have uh, e equal to 0. So we're going to take away 2x both sides. So we've got 11 equals x squared minus 7x plus 4. And we're going to take away 11 both sides. So we've got equal to, uh, to 0, which we need quadratics to be uh, equal to. So uh, was it 4 take away 11, which is going to be 7, so minus 7. Okay, so at this point we're looking at either factorising, which I doubt is going to work, or using the quadratic formula. I think we're going to need the quadratic formula for this. So we need to remember what the quadratic formula is. So minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We've got a is 1, b is minus 7, and c is also minus 7. Okay, it's going to take a while. So minus b uh, is going to be just 7, plus minus b squared, which is going to be 49, minus 4 times a, which is 1 times c. So it's going to be, and you can use your calculator for this. So it's minus 4 times minus 7, which is positive 28. It's going to be plus 28. Okay over 2. And so 49 plus 28 is going to be 77. So we can rewrite it like this. Okay, this is where we split the two apart. We have the positive version, so 7 plus roots 77 over 2. And we have the negative part, 7 minus root 77 over 2. So the positive part, 7 plus root uh, 77 over 2, is going to give us the answer 7.89 uh, to two decimal places. Now, at this point, it's still in my calculator. Okay, I don't want to get rid of it, because I need to also find out what y is. Now, it says y equals 2x plus 11. So y equals 2x plus 11 which equals 2 times this value in my calculator plus 11. So I'm going to times this by 2 plus 11. And it gives me the answer of 26.77 to two decimal places. And those are my answers for now. And y is 26.77. OK, let's carry on. And I'm going to type that in again. So 7, but this time minus root 77 over 2 and it gives me the decimal answer of minus 0.89 again to two decimal places so minus 0.89 and similarly we know that y is 2 lots of x plus 11 so I'm going to times that by 2 and I'm going to add 11 and press the uh, decimal button so 9.23 9.2 and that's to two decimal places. So it takes a bit of time, but if you make sure you write this part here down, then you can just split it up into a positive and negative. 